going to now create a bullet for our ship so we can start to defend the world. So uh, let's start off by creating a function called, you guessed it, create bullet. Inside that, we're going to do a lot of what we did previously. Okay, so we're going to create the bullet. We're going to do this the same way that we did the aliens because we're going to have multiple instances of this bullet and we don't need to really worry about its uh, its location. So it's going to be SK shape node um, and we'll make it circle radius of 5. So it's just going to be a little round bullet. Uh, we're then going to set a fill color. This will be red. And then we want the stroke color equal the same color as the fill color. Okay, we want to give it a name. So if we do collision detections later on, we can find the bullet. And the bullet position when it's first generated will be, no, position, when it's first generated will be the same position as the ship. So we'll do ship dot position dot x. And we want the ship dot position dot y, and we're going to put a little bit in front of the ship. We don't want any collision detections to happen with the bullet or mess anything up there. We then need to create our physics properties. Again, these are the same as what we did for our ship before. So if we copy our ship properties or our alien properties, uh, we can manipulate these to make sure they are the same. So we have the physics body that defines the size of the physics body. We have, is it dynamic? So how is it going to interact with other masses? Is it affected by gravity? No, we're in space. And is there uh, precision, precision detection? Yes, there is. We want to make sure that it's pixel perfect when we do our collisions. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is to make sure that we add our bullet into our scene. Okay, a bit like our... Uh, alien, we're going to make this move as well. So we're going to add in some bullet movement. So to make it move, we make it move up. We have an SK action. We make it move by. And we need to add in a CG vector, uh, which allows us to define a destination X and destination Y. So it would be zero, and we want to move up. 800, which is basically past the top of the screen, and we're going to take two seconds to do it. Then afterwards, we want to delete the sprite. We don't want them to all just pile up at the top of the screen. We want to remove them from the parent view. Finally, let's do our sequence. And we'll put those into a list to make it move up, and then delete. Right, make sure we run our actions. And now we have our bullet actions working. Okay, so when are we going to call this? Well, we want to call this every time we tap on the screen. Every time we tap or click, we want to make sure that this is run. So in order to do that, as you should be aware from the introduction unit, we have some fantastic things in SpriteKit which allow us to recognize gestures very, very easily. So we're going to use the touches began method. touches began and then press enter it will fill in all the declaration for you and then we can simply call create bullet so let's give this a test so I have my ship I have my aliens now when I tap I can see my ball moving we haven't done any collision detections yet we will do that later on once we get our ship movement happening but for now we have a ship which is able to shoot towards the aliens 